your mini bi-weekly general love to row reading for March 16th through the 31st, 2017. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at these cards and I'm thinking, all right, things are a bit twisted here. I feel like there's a little bit of a twisted energy here at the uh, last two weeks of March. Uh, I'm getting that there are some uh, important things that need to be completed in the relationship. So some of you may actually be um, parting from somebody. Uh, I feel this could be a fire sign. Uh, or this could be a sudden departure of a fire sign. Uh, I also feel like there has been a lot of ups and downs in relationships uh, for, um, I want to say, most of March. And for some reason, Spirit's taking me back into February and perhaps even January for some of you. I do feel like there is going to be some decisions made quite quickly uh, within these next two weeks of um, and the last part of March. And those decisions, uh, I just think that for some reason they're just going to be meant to be. Uh, I don't feel like there was enough chemistry or enough attraction to keep this relationship going. Uh, I also feel that there were some issues, like definitely I'm feeling there's some deception here. I feel for some of you who are going through some of these endings, and please don't take this as a negative reading, endings aren't always bad um, because when there's an ending, there's also a new beginning, if that's what you really want for yourself. But there's some energy, honestly, Taurus, for some of you, <laughs> that really needs to clear out. It's just been a lot of lies, perhaps cheating, um, just not being honest at all in this relationship. So in a way, I almost feel like the universe has saved you. Uh, I do feel, though, that uh, there is a meeting uh, for some of you of someone that you have spent lifetimes with so at the end of um at the end i should say there is a rainbow okay there are children involved here and i do feel like there is um a child who is quite upset about this ending but honestly i think that there is a um a better life a better journey that's coming that can bring happiness and stability uh, to you and your family okay now this doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a lover this could also mean family uh, one thing that spirits bringing into me is perhaps there is a family that is getting involved in the relationship putting a lot of pressure uh, I guess stating also too that this marriage or this relationship can't happen because there's just too many uh, differences. Uh, I honestly don't really want to give my opinion because I'm a pretty free-spirited person and I feel that um, it's your relationship and you know it doesn't really matter what your family has to say about it because it's your life but there are people who are very uh, committed to family uh, there are cultures that it means the world that the family approve this relationship but I just wanted to share that information because that is what spirit was giving me now it's not going to resonate with all of you Torians uh, that's not how I read I read the messages that come through from spirit uh, with the cards uh, I do, however, feel that there is some good news towards the end of March where new relationships that really resonate begin. And some for some of you, it's it's that, you know, many lifetimes that I'm picking up relationship here. Uh, I just, you know, just kind of want to pull a few more cards here. Oh, that's a good card. Uh, there is hope, though, for a, that relationship or one of the relationships I'm looking at that involves family or, or maybe even friends who are sticking their nose in where it doesn't really belong. 
um, you know, sometimes people observe and they can see things and they try to warn you, but it is your lesson. It is your experience. And um, I do feel like there's some jealousy around you, uh, both family and friends. But what I feel like is there's going to be some healing. So for some of you uh, who are experiencing that particular story that I just told you, I do feel like there is a coming together. And I feel like this is going to um, work out. Like you're going to beat the oppressor kind of thing. Uh, I also feel that uh, for some of you Torians who are, are involved in a relationship or are waiting for someone to return, what I do feel like is that is kind of coming in really quick, that there is a possibility for many of you uh, that a um, relationship can kick off again, but there seems to have been some healing in between, and there's an agreement to heal, which is super Um some of this too I feel has to do with money I'm not sure if you know the partners uh, working or not working but I also feel like in general it has a lot to do with money now some of you are who really kind of got with a very deceptive person I almost feel as if some of you um, have experienced a loss of money or a loss of material things that uh, were important to you and now you're kind of sitting in a uh, space of you know feeling a bit dark about this because um, you know you're at this position of I don't know what to do or is this going to change you know like I feel like angels help you know that kind of thing I feel that it will let me just pull a few um, tea leaf cards here we've got the tent The broom. Oh, the kangaroo has been showing up in a lot of readings, and I've shuffled these, and there are just so many cards. I'm just randomly picking them uh, with the aid of spirit. The tent is, like I was saying, there's a temporary situation here. Maybe it doesn't have to do with the coming together of a relationship due to family um, that was uh, separated due to family issues. Um, I do feel like for some of you who are looking at endings, there is a coming together. It's not completely over and there is hope. And I do feel for some of you, it is just over, but it's a temporary thing in regards to you will be moving on. Uh, also too, um, there, what's good here is the broom. The broom is saying that even though there are some endings, there are definitely new beginnings. And with those new beginnings, you have a new attitude. Uh, you know, sometimes when we release ourselves from something that is no longer uh, healthy for us, uh, we tend to uh, want to make that change that we want to see in others and in the world. So there are changes for you, Taurus, Taurus but it's very good. It's a very good change. It's a new attitude. Some of you may actually be moving. Um, the endings might have something to do with moving, moving into a new home. Now the kangaroo represents um, unsettled times. For so for some of you who are experiencing changes that, you know, may be bringing some sadness or discomfort, uh, there is a message here that you need to plan ahead. Okay. And the more that you plan ahead and not live in a dream world of hope when there isn't any more hope there, <laughs> you'll be able to settle a lot faster and, um, you know, move on with your life and get your life together. I did pull the ladder. I decided to pull one more card. The ladder is a great card. It's climbing towards something that is... Um, better successful an outcome that is positive because you're doing the right thing you're doing the right thing for yourself you're starting to think about yourself Taurus okay I'm going to go ahead and shuffle for general 
What are the messages, Spirit, for Taurus? Please remember that these are many readings. I'm only reading what's come up the surface. All in all, I just feel like there's changes, and some of these changes are just meant to be. They just are. They've been a some for some of you. It's been a long time, long time waiting. So maybe some things end. Maybe you decide to end it. Maybe somebody else decides to end it. But you walk into something. Um, maybe not all of you right away, but you walk into something that is much more better. It's. I mean, sorry, that was probably bad English. That is much better. Um, more enlightening, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got going in here. We've got the world card. Love that card. The ten of fire. Two of earth. Two of air. Four of fire. Four of air. Queen of earth. Ace of fire. So the world here is like the universe is patting you on the back, telling you, hey, well, do well job done, guys. Well job done. This is a card of gratitude. You know, it's important. The magic of gratitude is so universal. You know, even if you feel like your life is sour right now, the more gratitude you bring in, the more gratitude you get in return from the universe. Okay? Okay. And uh, it's also letting you know that the changes that are coming, they're not just uh, romance. They're also in your, your business world, in your professional world, or your work world, uh, that these changes are actually moving you on the path toward enlightenment. The Ten of Fire is letting you know that for some of you, I feel like I'm getting being drawn back to the money. Like for some of you, maybe you're fearing loss of money. This, and you maybe you're overworking, or maybe the 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 you know business that you're running or owning, or the job that you're working at, or your professional career. Maybe you're just working too many hours, and it might not even be by choice. It might be how the company or um, I don't know why I got a, a, a picture of a doctor here or a hospital. Maybe some of you are nurses, but I feel like you're just working way too many hours and there needs to be more time for yourself. Okay. Uh, also, too, I feel like there are some people around you that are good people that really want to help you and you should allow them to help you. That's a card. The Ten of Fire is a card to allow others to come in and help you don't push them away and also too it's a, a sign here where you need to pay attention how you're eating you know if you're smoking maybe it's time to quit if you're drinking too much because um, you just want to drown your your problems or you know you just have some health issues that are going on I feel like you just need to to pay attention to them you know try to get on the right path with that the two of earth is, again, there's too much going on here, okay? We got to kind of clear out some of this energy. There's a lot going on, and I did, when I saw some of these endings or closures, I saw them happening really, really fast. So that alone can make us feel like there's too much going on at one time. And so... Also, I feel with the two of earth, there are decisions, uh, physical and um, emotional decisions that need to be made. Um, but I also feel like for some of you Torians, you need to lighten up, bring in that playful energy because you know how you re how you act, what your actions are, speak a lot about uh, what you're feeling inside of yourself. Really, what is this? How do they say actions speak louder than wor words? Sorry. Two of air is um, the struggle here on the, um, well, I want to say the ten of fire here. Uh, it's a, but, but actually it's all of these combined. The ten of fire, two of earth, and two of air. There is a difficult time 
these next two weeks for some of you to make decisions. You're just unwilling or you're unable to come to a closure or a decision on uh, the direction you want to go with the p uh, pending issue. Uh, I do feel like some of you, um, or it could be your partner, are just acting oblivious. In other words, acting as if there is no problem. Okay, so I feel like the communication uh, could be a bit of a struggle. Now, the Four of Fire is telling me that there is eventually going to be peace. And with that peace comes abundance. I also feel like... Um, there is energy coming in. I am getting like the 22nd uh, and also the 28th of March where a lot of happy energy comes in. It makes home life much easier. Uh, there, are, there are breaks at work. Uh, maybe you decide to take a vacation day then. But there are changes here with good energy just coming in, supporting you. The four of air here is, well, this, I was just talking about vacation. That's kind of what the four of air is. It's taking a break, taking a breather, taking a vacation, meditating more, uh, you know, exercising, perhaps joining a gym, whatever, whatever it is to bring the stress down. Uh, I also feel going back to the decision cards here, got a lot of decision cards here, uh, I feel that you need to allow yourself the time that you need to make the decision, okay? Which complements the two of air with the struggle of trying to make a decision. So Spirit is saying, give some more time to that decision. And also meditate, observe the situation because it may provide answers for you. The Queen of Earth is make time for those around you, okay? So it's basically taking a sensible approach to things. You know, deal with the challenges. Come on, you're the bull. Deal with the challenges. Horns on. Um, but be understanding. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Okay? But don't let somebody run you over with a Mack truck. Simple. Ace of Fire. And this is, this is the card for an exciting opportunity. So there's an exciting opportunities coming in, Taurus. This could be career advancement. This could be advancement in business. Um, this could be a promotion. It's just a change. You got a lot of changes the end of March. And that's what spirit, that's what the universe is called for. Okay? And these changes are good. Some of them are meant to happen. You've gotten some wake-up calls. You didn't make the change. So now the universe is sending them. Some of these things just have to change. And some of you have to move on in order to reach that plateau again for things to be blissful. Okay? All right. Now, if you'd like a personal reading, www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising. Taurus, hang in there. It's going to get better. I promise. I love you guys. Blessings.